Item types can be tied uh, to fields within the text favorite manager. So there's a lot going on there. We got item types, fields stored as text favorites. If you take a look at the screenshot that's here, if you were to type that all in each and every time, for those of you that have used item types and then have used things like uh, fields, this would be this would be fine the one time you created it. But if you had to do it again 10 minutes later, it would get really old having to key that in over and over. That's where Text Favorite Manager comes in. So I'm going to jump over to Text Favorite Manager. Um, actually, I oops, uh, let me make sure I'm in the right file here to start with, play around with. And let me uh, close that one out. And let's go back to the sign example there. Sorry about that. I ended up in the wrong file. All right. So let's start here. So first off, I'm going to take a step back and I want to show you what I'm trying to do is you'll notice that this sign right here has this label. Okay. And I want to do that with this stop sign. But before I can label the stop sign, I got to put some data on it. So I'm going to go to attach. And one of the other new functions that I have here is that in my attach items dialog box, I have the ability to attach more than one item type. That's a new feature. I'm going to just select one, and that is just this thing called the road sign. I'm going to make sure I select, and I'll talk about more about this pick list in just a moment, as well as these uh, all these fields are being pulled from a, uh, a lookup table. Talk about those in a little bit, but I'm just going to quickly label this. I've attached my data. In fact, you could verify it by selecting it here. And you can see over here on the properties, there are all my properties for my particular stop sign. So now what I want to do is place a label just like this. Well, one of the new features is the fact that on place text, uh, place note, I have the ability to use a text favorite. In this case, I have one called signs, details, all. If I select it, you'll see it populates uh, the, road, the road signs catalog number, the category, the use, and all these different fields you see here with the gray background. Again, this would be a real hassle to type in over and over and over again. But with the use of a, a text favorite and using place note with that text favorite, I can label this sign pretty quickly. So there it is there. It's a regulatory sign. Let me shut that down. You know, used as a stop sign, it's 30 by 30, and all the information that goes along with it. So text favorites, new feature, uh, been around a bit, but it's been in some type of technology preview, fully released and ready to go for uh, things like your place text and place note and so on. And the big thing here is that it ties item types to fields. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.